Yeah, so, we left with uh, homogenization no? and we said that we will derive uh, how the velocity profile and uh, other profiles are getting changes or how can we find out the average velocity or uh, localized velocity or uh, maximum velocity things like that. Okay. So, let us look into that. So, it will be uh, like this. Just a minute, one four. Yeah. So here it is. We have done this, right? And then we have found out this uh, velocity profile, average velocity, and uh, we also have found out what is the relation between fanning friction factor and uh, um, delta p, right? This also we have found out, right? Then we can say now up to this we had finished delta p was 4 f instead of 4 f we have said that was for pi rho delta p was f rho l by 2 del into v average right l by 2 del into v average. So, if that was there then Then what we do, we take this V average square is 2 F rho, right, L by 2 del V average square by 2. This way we can write that 2 F rho L by 2 del and V average square by 2, right. Similar to the pi flow that was 4 F rho then L by D then V average square by 2 right. This was there for, uh, for, 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 for delta P versus F relation right. Now, if we substitute this for V average then we can write f is equal to 2 delta p del by this was for pipe flow this is for split ok. So, if we substitute them 2 delta p del by l rho v average square right is equal to 2 into 3 mu L V average del over del square L rho V average square, right. This is equals to 6 mu by del rho V average, which can be written equal to 24 by 4 del rho v average divided by mu. Now, this is equals to 24 by n r e, right. So, then for slit, we see that it is 24 by n r e, f is 24 by n r e. For pipe, we have seen if f was uh, 16 by n r e right. So, this was for pi. So, this f is related for for your slit flow this is 24 by n r e right. So, the difference is that in the pi flow we had n r e equals to d v average rho by mu this was for pipe flow whereas for slit flow nre is equals to 4 del rho v average divided by mu right so this is the difference this is for slit flow this is the basic difference right 
So, and the corresponding f came to be 16 by nrd and corresponding f came to be 24 by nrd. Right? So, once we know this, then we can do a problem like this. Uh, plate heat exchanger is used to sterilize apple juice. The gap between the plates is 10 millimeter and of 3 meter long. Assume density and viscosity of apple juice to be 1060 kg per meter cube and 110 to the power minus 4 Pascal second respectively. What is the average velocity and pressure drop if the Reynolds number is 1200 right. So, I repeat the problem. This problem says that a uh, plate heat exchanger is used to sterilize apple juice. The gap between the plates is 10 millimeter and of 3 meter long. Assume density and viscosity of apple juice to be 1060 uh, kg per meter cube and 110 to the minus 4 Pascal seconds respectively. Then what is the average velocity and pressure drop if the Reynolds number is 1200, right? Now from here we see that the Reynolds number is given solution of the problem that Reynolds number is given that equals to 4 del V average into rho by mu, right. Therefore, we can write V average is equals to nre into mu divided by 4 del sorry 4 del into rho, right. So, what I is given? Given here, 2 del is equals to 10 millimeter, right. Uh, therefore, we can write V average 2 del is equals to 10 millimeter and other property values what we have seen, they are uh, your mu is equals to uh, 1 10 to the power minus 4, right? 1 10 to the power minus 4 Pascal seconds and uh, rho density is given 1060 kg per meter cube, right? So, if we put them and, and also given NRE is equals to 1200, right? So, if we put NRE is 1200, into into 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 is the mu divided by 4 right 2 del is 10 millimeter so del is equals to 5 millimeter so 4 into 5 into rho that is 1060 so how much it comes let us look into how much it comes. It is twelve hundred into ten to the minus four divided by twenty four into five is twenty divided by thousand. 60, right, is this much and uh, that divided by, that divided by 10 to the power 4, So, it is 5.66, 5.66 
10 to the power minus 6 meter per second. Right? Let us put it down. So, it is uh, okay. Okay, if we if we change a little, change a little in the sense, say in the value we change this to perhaps that was a we change this value to three, right? Then how it is coming? How it is coming? It is coming in our V average is equals to. 1200 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 4 into 4 into 5 right 5 millimeter right so that we forgot 5 10 to the power minus 3 right into 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 1060 right so, 10 to the minus 3, this 10 to the minus 3 goes out, right? This uh, 5 fourths are 20. Okay, let us put directly there. Twelve hundred divided by 20 divided by 1000. 60. So, it is 0 0.056. Yeah, 0 0.056 meter per second. Right? So, that is what here also we got, but uh, in the problem it was being shown 10 to the minus 4, that, that is why it was coming a little erroneous. Okay. Now, this is average velocity. So, what about delta p? Delta p is 3 v average mu l divided by del square. Right? So, this is 3 into 0 0.056 mu is 1 10 to the power minus 3 and l is given 3 meter long into 3 <coughs> divided by del square del is 5 into 10 to the minus 3 square right so if we do this we can see that it is coming if we do this we can see that this what it is coming 3 into 0 0.056 Point zero five six into ten to the minus three into ten to the power three plus minus oh, sorry 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 I made the mistake so three into 0 0.056 0 0.056 into into 10 to the power minus 3 10 x to the power y 3 plus minus so it is that into 3 into 3 this is equals to that divided by 5 into 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 3, this square, right? So, that means this is 20.16 is equals to 20.16 delta P, so much Pascal, right? So, that is what we are also getting here. Right. So, this means if we do some problems, if we do some solutions, then 
obviously we come across with the formulae more in 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 uh, more in close way and we can solve the problems and figure out what is the values these values also we should know here delta p is around 20.16 pascal right so normal pressure is 101 right 101.325 kilo pascal so in that case this is so much low that delta p pressure drop is not very very high okay so let us look into another problem this problem says whole meal is heated in a tubular heat exchanger having a diameter of 10 millimeter the Reynolds number is 5000 the density and viscosity of whole milk is 1030 kg per meter cube and 2.212 into 10 to the minus 3 pascal second respectively calculate the average velocity of milk and pressure drop in the heat exchanger of 3 meter long I repeat whole milk is heated in a tubular heat exchanger having a diameter of 10 millimeter the Reynolds number is 5000 the density and viscosity of whole milk is 10,030 kg per meter cube and 2.12 10 to the minus 3 pascal second respectively calculate the average velocity of milk and pressure drop in the heat exchanger of 3 meter long right so this solution then this can be that average velocity this is equals to nre mu over d into rho right so we have been given having a diameter of 10 millimeter so 10 millimeter diameter is already given like in the previous one where it was 2 del equal to 10 millimeter right so this can be an air given r diameter d is equals to 10 millimeter right and uh, Reynolds number nrd is equals to 5000 right and density equals to 1030 kg per meter cube and uh, viscosity mu is given as 2.212 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second right as well the heat exchanger has a length l is equals to 3 meter right so then from here what we can write we can write the Reynolds number to be 5000 mu to be 2.12 into 10 to the power minus 3 then d given 10 millimeter so 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 this mistake we did the previous time we did not do this change of millimeter to meter so these are we careful when being done and this is density 1030 right so from this we can calculate and say that how much unless you do calculations on your own you do not find out the mistakes normally you, we do right 5000 into 2.212 2.212 into 10 to the minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 so it is so much divided by 10 divided by 1030 divided by 10 to the minus 3 so this is equals to 1.03 say 29 means 3 1.03 meter per second right hopefully we also got there 
similar. So, 1.029003 meter per second, right. So, now what do we need to know that corresponding this to this because here you see from the problem given what do you understand that whole milk is heated in a tubular heat exchanger. So, one one milk tubular one one over other. So, like that annular which we showed in the morning. So, this is one heat exchanger right and that is another right. So, one fluid is moving say this way in a, a tubular heat exchanger it has not been said whether co current or counter current. So, generally we take in the counter current fashion. So, having a diameter of 10 millimeter. So, tubular heat exchanger diameter of 10 millimeter. So, in this it is being heated. Now, the Reynolds number is 5000 the density viscosity at this much calculate the average pressure and the uh, velocity. Now, when we had taken diameter and length now in the previous uh, sections or previous classes we had said that uh, whenever you have such a thing where energy is given you do not know the friction factor then you find out it from the Moody's chart, right? So Moody's chart was what like that. They are in log log graph, right? This F versus NRE, and corresponding to this epsilon by d has to be found out. So what is the epsilon by d that can be taken? Uh, in this case, epsilon is separately not given. But let us take that this epsilon by d corresponding to that and a uh, NRE to be 5000, the corresponding f value we can assume say around 0 0.011, right. So, if we assume 0 0.011 to be the f value, then delta p is equals to 4 f rho L by D V average square by 2, right. That is normal by flow, right. And if that be true, then we can write this is 4 into point, uh, zero 0.011 into L is given 3 and D given 10, right. So, 10 millimeter is 10 in 10 to minus 3 meter and V average which we have found out is 1.03 square by 2, right. So, this comes equal to let us look into that calculator. So, what is coming that 4 into 0 0.011, 4 into 0 0.011, right, into 3, into 3, right, into, so 4 F L, okay, into point 1.03 whole square, into 1. Point 0 0.03 square. So, this is that divided by 10 divided by 2 divided by 10 to the minus 3, right? 10 to the power minus 3. So, this becomes equals to 7.0. 0, 0, 0.00194 that means 7.002 7 7.002 right so much of pascal let us look into this as 6.543 uh, 
Why 6.543? Because we must have done some mistake somewhere. So, 4 f was 0 0.01, okay, 1 1 into O. We have not taken density, that is what is. So, 7.02 0 0 0.02 into 1030. If we make 7.002 into 1030. So, this becomes equals to 7211 that means 7.2 kilo Pascal right. It becomes 7.212 kilo Pascal right i hope they are also 6.543 the reason being the difference is here we have taken 0 0.011 right whereas in this case it has been taken 0 0.1 so that is the fundamental difference why right? this 6.543 uh, is coming and we have got 7.212 right 1 point and here also we have taken 1.03, they have taken 1.029 the square. So, for which the value is obviously a little less, right. But the thing is like that when you have this values and uh, when you have here you see though it was pipe flow, though it was uh, uh, a problem where it was not explicitly said that it is a pipe flow, right. It is said that whole milk is heated in a tubular heat exchanger and as I showed that tubular heat exchanger is like this, right. So, in which one fluid is entering uh, from the inner and another to the annular. So, that is the annular um, heat exchange is happening. So, the way it is said, it appears that the milk is appearing going through the inner one, right. Seating medium is not said that is at the outer medium. Now, the, when it is said, it is also said that if the flow is such that NRE is 5000, right. And also it is said that it is the fluid milk which has a density of 1030 and viscosity 2.12, length through which it is passing is L that is 3 meter, right and 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 also uh, viscosity 2.12, 10 to the minus 3 Pascal second. Now, consequently it came to the mind that which shall we do, since it is a simple pipe flow, so we have taken pipe flow, the relation for that and in the pipe flow, we could have also used hagen pezeli's equation, but the moment you take hagen pezeli equation, you will see the difference between hagen pezeli and using the framing friction, there is a difference. So, 5-10 percent difference what we will get, why to incur that. So, we, we, ha we have taken that framing friction uh, relation with the delta p and that funding friction relation with the delta p, the moment you put it, so this becomes a simple pipe flow and the delta p with the funding friction factor whatever is coming. So, this way if you if you practice some more problems from different sources and solve them, then I hope more and more confidence level will gain and you can do and solve very easily. Okay. Thank you.